Today we have a shootout between two budget priced torque wrenches, this Tecton and this Harbor Freight one half inch drive torque wrenches. You may have seen my other video review of this eight year old Harbor Freight torque wrench. It's still working well and it's still accurate after eight years. Check out that other video if you want to see more. But I wanted to compare it to another popular budget priced torque wrench, this Tecton, which cost me just about $35 on Amazon. I'm going to compare the two up close and do the same accuracy test on the Tecton that I already did on the Harbor Freight. First up, what's good about these torque wrenches? Well, they're both affordable, they're easy to get, and they are accurate. As I'll show you later, they're both accurate and repeatable. What's not so good? Well, they both have kind of an old school low tooth count ratcheting mechanism, and they both have this adjustment mechanism that while it works, it's not the fanciest in the world and it's not the easiest to use. If you were to step up to a better torque wrench, you'd be getting probably a fine tooth mechanism in the head and you'd be getting an easier to use adjustment mechanism. But those better torque wrenches would not be as affordable as these two. These are both 150 foot pound half inch drive torque wrenches. They might look pretty similar on first blush, but there are some significant differences. For example, take a look at the bodies here. These are clearly not the same torque wrench. The heads look similar, but as I'll show you in a close up in just a moment, they are different. On the Harbor Freight, the markings are stamped. On the Tecton, it looks to me like they are screen printed. Both of these torque wrenches are made in Taiwan, but the finish and overall build quality is definitely better on the Tecton. The Tecton also has a nice loud sharp click when you hit the torque setting compared to this older well used Harbor Freight torque wrench. When you get up close here to the ratchet heads, you can see they're kind of a similar design, but based on how they are shaped and how they are made, they are not identical. So let's open them up and see how similar they are. I'm taking these apart now and one thing I forgot to mention earlier is there are a lot of complaints on the Harbor Freight about the cover plate screws loosening which allows the cover plate to fall off and the mechanism to fall apart. So whether you're talking about the Harbor Freight or the Tecton, check those cover plate screws to make sure they are still tight. I have the ratchet mechanisms open on these two. This is the Tecton over here. This is the Harbor Freight over here. For those of you who are familiar with ratchet mechanisms, it's easy to see that these are both copies of the old proto ratchet design. You have two pawls here which control which way the gear is able to turn. It's a simple mechanism, it's tough, but the downside is it's a coarse tooth mechanism. There are only 24 teeth. On a better torque wrench, you'd be getting a fine tooth mechanism which can help you out when you're working in tight spaces. Another thing I noticed is this Tecton has absolutely no grease whatsoever in the ratcheting mechanism. The Harbor Freight does, but I've owned it for years and I know I've opened it up, so surely I've added some grease over the years. The point is, for either of these, if you buy them, it's not a terrible idea to open them up and add a little lubrication. Another thing I wanted to point out is how the adjustment mechanisms work on these and how the Tecton is a little bit better in this regard. If you do some reading online about the Harbor Freight, you'll read complaints about people saying it gets really stiff as you're trying to adjust the torque wrench higher. Sometimes that's because you need to adjust this nut on the bottom. For example, it just seized up on me, but that's because this nut needs a little adjustment. After that, you can start twisting it up more, but it does get pretty difficult to turn on this eight year old one as you get uh, all the way up to the top of the scale. On the Tecton, it adjusts the same way. You turn this handle on the bottom, but at least on this example, it's a lot easier to turn. Oh, I need to stop and adjust the nut there and I can turn it. Just need to stop and adjust the nut again. I can turn it all the way up to the top without too much trouble. So on both of these, this adjustment mechanism is one of the spots where if you were spending more and getting a more expensive torque wrench, you might get a different type of adjustment mechanism or you might get this type of adjustment mechanism, but it'd be a little easier to use. That's one of kind of the downsides of these, but definitely the Tecton is the either easier of the two to adjust. 
So here we're set up just like I did previously with my Harbor Freight torque wrench. We have the Tecton torque wrench here attached to the torque adapter. These lug nuts are torqued to 100 foot-pounds and the torque wrench is set to 70 foot-pounds. 70.1, 72.1, 73.1, 69.3. Here I have the numbers from my original Harbor Freight torque wrench test and here from my Tecton torque wrench test. Now the setting on all of these was 70 foot-pounds. Here I have the actual readings for the Harbor Freight. Here I have the actual readings for the Tecton. And then here I have the deviation in percentage. It just happened to be that on the eighth pull for both of them is when I got the largest deviation. 3.29% uh, under on the Tecton and 3.57% over on the Harbor Freight. So what should we take away from these numbers? I would not get into the nitty gritty and really crunch the numbers and say, oh look, the Tecton maybe is a tiny percentage more accurate. The point is, is both of these are accurate. They're both more than accurate enough for the kind of things I'll ever be doing in my garage, which would be working on vehicles and engines. For most things you're going to do, these are more than accurate enough. So to wrap it up, both of these torque wrenches work well. And if you're on a tight budget, neither one is really a bad choice. Also, neither one is as nice as a more expensive torque wrench, but they do get the job done. The Tecton is clearly the better of the two though. Uh, it's easier to adjust, it has a nicer fit and finish, and it does have a better warranty. So if you're shopping for a bargain priced torque wrench, I personally would probably spend the extra $25 and get the Tecton over the Harbor Freight. Have any questions or comments, post them below, hit the like button, and be sure to subscribe so you can see my new videos when they come out. Thanks for watching.